as we all know, the Philippines' two new frigates, Jose Rizal and Antonio Lula, are currently the iron fist of the country's navy. To supplement anti-submarine capabilities, each ship is served by an AW-159 Wild Canaver helicopter. This is a military helicopter developed by the British Italian helicopter manufacturer Augusta Westland designed to serve in the battlefield utility. In March 2016, Augusta Westland signed a 100 million euro contract with the Department of National Defense for two helicopters along with training and support. The project aims to provide anti-submarine warfare and anti-surface capabilities to the Philippine Navy. Prior to the introduction of the Wildcat, the Philippines lacked any anti-submarine capabilities in the region where the number of submarines being operated by other nations was reportedly set to grow. On 7 of May 2019, the two AW-159 anti-submarine helicopters arrived in the Philippines and assigned on board the Jose Rizal class frigates. Wildcat is designed for multi-mission, search and rescue, area reconnaissance, anti-submarine warfare, anti-surface warfare utility, command and control, and troop transport duties. The Philippine Navy's choice of the AW-159 can be speculated to be because the South Korean Navy also operates these helicopters in its surface fleet. The Philippine Navy's AW-159 Wildcat have a length of 15.24 meters, an empty weight of 3.3 .3 tons, and a maximum takeoff weight of 6 tons. They are powered by two LHTEC CTS-804 turboshaft engines, each producing an output of 1,015 kW, allowing the helicopters to reach a maximum speed of around 168 knots approximately 310 km per hour, and a range of 420 nautical miles, equivalent to 777 km. The helicopters can fly up to a maximum flight time of 2 hours and 15 minutes, and can be extended further to more than 4 hours with the use of auxiliary fuel tanks. The helicopters will come with a Thales compact flex dipping sonar and the Lillard to Sea Spray 7400E EASA surface search radar, the L3 Westcam MX15D electro optical camera targeting system, and a variety of other aviation systems that are quite new to the Philippine Navy. As part of the contract, Augusta Westland will supply an initial batch of ammunition, including the Spike NLOS air to surface missile from Israel's Rafael Advanced Systems LTD, the K745 Blue Shark lightweight anti submarine torpedoes from South Korea's Next Next One, Sonar Boys, and Pinto mounted machine guns. The Philippine Navy appears to be following a similar loadout of the Republic of Korea's Navy's AW-159 Wildcats. Spike NROS, or non lie of sight, is an ultra-long-range version of the weapon with a claim maximum range of 25 km. It is a significantly larger missile than other Spike variants with an overall weight of around 70 kg. It can be launched from the ground or from helicopters. It was developed following lessons learned in the Yom Kippur War, which show a need for a high precision guided tactical ground-to-ground -ground battlefield missile. The Spike NROS uses a fiber optic link similar to other Spike versions 
but only out to 8 km, after which it employs a radio data link for command guidance. The next next one, K745 Blue Shark Torpedo, is a light anti submarine torpedo developed for the Republic of Korea Navy in 2004. The Blue Shark Torpedo can be deployed from surface ships, anti submarine warfare helicopters, and maritime patrol aircraft. Blue Shark Torpedoes are also fitted to the Jose Reserve class frigates. The torpedo weighs 280 kilograms has a length of 2.7 meters, a range of 19 kilometers, and a maximum speed of more than 45 knots, equivalent to 83 kilometers per hour. While not included, these helicopters are ready to accept other types of air-lodged munitions that are already integrated to the helicopters including the Thales Lightweight Mantaron Missile, the MBDAC Venom Anti-Ship Missile, the BAE System Stingray Lightweight Anti-Submarine Torpedo, the Hellfire and Brimstone Anti-Time Missiles, among others. According to Max Defense, among those missing in the Philippine Navy Wildcat are the Leo Helicopter Integrated Defensive Air System, which includes the countermeasure dispenser, missile warning system, and radar warning receiver. Also missing is the dipping sonar, which should be working on the helicopter's barely opening. The Philippine Navy's Squadcat is to use the Thales Compact Flash Dipping Sonar and has some additional antennas that are missing in the Republic of Korean Navy model. It is reported that the Philippine Navy has requested funding and has initiated pre-procurement processes for the procurement of additional anti submarine warfare helicopters. The quantity varies depending on available funding, but a minimum of two additional helicopters are eyed through it could be pushed up to six helicopters. The acquisition of additional six anti-submarine capable helicopters are meant to provide complementing naval helicopters for the two new HDC-3100 Corvettes, as well as for other naval ships to be acquired under Horizon 3. An offer from Sikorsky offers the MH-60R Romeo Seahawk to compete with the Lirato AW-159 Wildcat 